Hi, this is Bob Dittmer and welcome to Explorations in Public Relations. In this series of short video presentations, we explore and illuminate the practice and the profession of public relations. And today, we're going to talk about special events, and I do mean plural special events, and in a rather grand scale, because we're going to talk about the Festival 500. My guest today is Megan Bulla, who is the Communication Director for the Festival 500 here in Indianapolis. Megan, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So I guess the important point to start with is, what the heck is the Festival 500? Sure, the 500 Festival is a not-for-profit that is focused on celebrating the legacy and the history of the Indianapolis 500. So a lot of people kind of get us confused mm -hmm. with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500 and all the events that go on at the track. Uh, we are a completely different organization that's focused on um, planning and promoting 50 different events that lead up to uh, and during the month of May that lead up to the race on uh, Memorial Day weekend. So that's kind of the grand finale the of grand everything scale. that we do. Yeah, <laughs> that's the grand scale. Uh, before we talk about what you do in terms of promoting all of that, give us a sense of the kind of events, the, some of these 50 events that you're talking sure. about. Sure. Uh, we plan the uh, mini marathon, which is the nation's largest half marathon with 35,000 runners. Uh, we also plan the parade, which has been going on since 1957 and has more than 300,000 people in downtown Indianapolis. So some pretty large-scale events. We also have some smaller events, the memorial service that takes place on uh, Monument awesome. Circle. Um, we also have Kids Day and Rookie Run, which is kind of a, a smaller-scale event that takes place on Monument Circle that celebrates uh, kids and fitness. So a uh, number of different things. We also host an education program out at the track uh, that all fourth graders from all of Indiana are learning about racing throughout the year, and then it culminates with a trip to the track at the end of the year. So you're a partner with the Indianapolis Speedway, but you're not with the Indianapolis Speedway. Exactly. Okay, so let's talk about your role in this is to help promote all of these 50 different events. Mm -hmm. Just one person, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do it all. So I presume you have a fair number of people who are volunteers. We do. We yeah. have about 17 to 18 people on staff. Uh, we have some part-time uh, folks that help sure. us out, and we have 7,000 volunteers. So mm -hmm. we obviously could never do what mm -hmm. we do uh, without those volunteers. Uh, my role at the festival as the communications manager is to... Uh, we really handle all the communications that comes out. So if that's media relations, uh, social media, I handle the website. Um, also our internship program, we have nine interns that help us out in the spring, also very big help for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, a lot of newsletter writing, um, stakeholder communications, anything that uh, is leaving the festival has my eyes on it before it, it, it takes off. And you probably don't actually do all of that. You have committees and volunteers that you work with to sort of get all this done. Is that right? We do. Uh, we have a board that has 35 members, so a mm -hmm. lot of civic leaders uh, in the community that help us out. And within that, they kind of lead up the different committees that help us plan. So, so what, is, what is your, if you were to identify your biggest challenge with a, a, a huge series of events like this over a long, fairly long stretch of time. What's mm -hmm. the, the greatest challenge you face with one of these? I think um, one of the biggest challenges is people actually understanding what the 500 Festival is. Mm -hmm. uh, although we've been around since 1957, it still confuses people. As I said, a lot of people think we are the track and we are mm -hmm. the Motor Speedway. So we get a lot of, of cross phone calls that, you know, you need to talk to them or, you know, they call us, sure. you need to talk to the festival. So yeah. uh, getting that word out um, is obviously one of our number one priorities. Um, and then we just have so many different stakeholders that we need to reach out to um, from, as I mentioned, board members, volunteers, uh, visitors, residents, downtown businesses, if mm -hmm. we're shutting uh, streets down for a period mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just uh, coordinating all the different communications so people know what's going on. A and there's something special about this year too, isn't there? There is. It is the 100th anniversary of the first running of the Indianapolis 500. It's kind of a mouthful, and, it, and it if is. you might remember that um, the Centennial era has been going on for a few years. Uh, it opened in 1909, so a few years ago we had the actual 100th anniversary of the track. track now it's the 100th anniversary of the first running, and a few years from now, because they took a few years off during World War II, mm -hmm. we'll actually have the 100th running. So it's a it's a big celebration. Um, all of our, our events this year are kind of just... Uh, up w another notch. Mm -hmm. A lot of um, mm -hmm. old drivers and uh, celebrities and uh, old poll winners. Um, a lot of people are coming to be a part of these events and everything is just kind of a uh, you know, bigger scale than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, which makes it a, a pretty exciting month of May for you. Mm -hmm. 
what do you do all the rest of the year? There's 11 other months. <laughs> That's probably the biggest question that I get is, you know, is this a year-round gig? It is. Yeah. Um, we actually start selling uh, registrations for the mini marathon the day of the mini marathon before, so it never really stops for the marketing department. We're always promoting our events. Um, yes, it does um, kind of calm down a bit for the summer, but we're still obviously trying to sell tickets all year round to our right. events, uh, recruiting volunteers, uh, recruiting new board members, so it never really stops. And you, m a vast majority of what you do s is really focused locally, but not all of this, because this is really a, 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 an event that has a national appeal, isn't it? It is. Uh, obviously, our biggest focus is, is Hoosiers, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. Central Indiana in particular, but especially for the parade and the mini marathon, not only is it nationwide, but it's worldwide. We had nine right. countries, you know, participate in the mini marathon. Uh, we have some elite athletes from all over around, you know, around the world, um, and it's, the month of May is just really special in Indianapolis because mm -hmm. it's really a spotlight. Um, you know, we're, we're known for racing, we're known for hosting really good events, we're known for mm -hmm. our very helpful volunteers, so um, it's all a very positive environment for the entire month. Yeah. And you, you probably get involved in a fair amount of media relations, kind of running up to the month of May and then mm -hmm. certainly fairly extensively, and that probably involves, as you mentioned, international and national level media. How does, how does that work? You must be on the phone a lot. <laughs> I am. Um, this is actually my first year going through it, so I'm really excited to um, learn more. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it'll be a lot of early mornings and late nights and event hours, and it'll be a very crazy time. But um, what's really nice is it's really a positive message. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in a time where the news sometimes seems to focus on the negative things going on, I'm very lucky to work for an organization where most of the news is very positive. That's, that's good, yeah. um, you know, if you've ever been at the finish line at the mini marathon, it's mm -hmm. one of the most inspiring places to be. So mm -hmm. um, it makes my job easier to tell a very positive, you know, fun story to people. Well, it is a great story, and we'll have to invite you back after this one so you can sort of give us the postmortem on what it was like for your first Give time. me a week of sleep to catch up, <laughs> and okay. then I'll be back. We'll do that. <laughs> Megan, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us as we've been talking about the, the, the large-scale special event that is the 500 Festival connected to the uh, running of the Indianapolis 500. What's the line, the greatest spectacle in racing? The greatest spectacle in racing. I just had to racing. slip that in there. Thanks for joining us. Come back and see more explorations and public relations in the future.